Awesome Sports player analysis. Noor El Tayab. She's yet to be given a nickname from PSA Squash TV, but I've named her the Cyclone because she can leave her opponents in a daze. Noor is 25 years old. She's already been as high as three in the world. She's a former World Junior Champion. Her potential was obvious as a youngster. At just 15 years old, she narrowly lost 3-2 with then world champion Vanessa Atkinson. Along with her husband Ali Farag, she became the US Open champion in 2017, a first in any sport for a husband-wife combo. She's also won the Windy City Open in 2018, so she has two major titles to her name. Let's look at the pros and cons of the way the Cyclone plays squash. She's surprisingly consistent. Only once in the last 16 months has she lost to anyone outside the top four in the world. And that was to an inform Amanda Sovi, who was playing on home soil in America. She's known for being super athletic. She loves to dive, but she's very fast and very fit. Like many Egyptians, she can produce the unexpected. She definitely has the best cross cut nick volley in the women's game which is always a sensational way to win a point. Because she's so fast and athletic, and because she can produce winners from all over the court, this does make her an intimidating player to play against. I think the cons of Norel Tayab is even though she is good at diving, she can dive too much. Sometimes she dives when she doesn't have to, and this puts her in trouble because it puts her on the floor where she cannot recover from. Not to mention, it constantly looks like an injury waiting to happen. I feel sometimes she tries too hard to be unexpected. This leads her into poor shot selection, which against the better players, just puts her in trouble in the rally and allows them to dominate her. How high can Noral Tayeb go in the rankings? I feel she can get to world number one. She definitely has the game for it and she has the consistency so she can play with discipline. She just needs to do it more often, but still to keep some of the flamboyant winning shots. Obviously, Raneem and Nora El Shabini are in her way and she needs to find a way to consistently get past them. She has beaten both those girls before. Yes, she has a losing record against them, but she's beaten them once, so she can beat them again. It's definitely interesting at the top of the women's game there isn't a massive difference between some of the top three or four players, which makes every tournament exciting, especially from the semi-finals onwards. Thank you for listening to yet another Awesome Sports Player Analysis. Be sure to tune in for many more and check the website for any that you've missed.